Well, as some of those lawmakers try to find what can be done to stop employers from demanding Facebook passwords, questions about the legality of the practice are continuing to grow. Michael Maycomer is an attorney with Tully Rinky Law Firm in Albany, and he is joining us now live in our newsroom tonight to help answer some of these questions for us. And Michael, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So you have Senator Schumer and other lawmakers saying that, no, this is not legal for these prospective employers to ask for these passwords. Are they right? Is it illegal? What violation is it if it does? Uh, is not legal. I think what they're getting at is, is that some of these employers are trying to get information that they wouldn't otherwise be entitled to. An employer can't ask certain questions such as maybe your health background or whether or not you are a particular sexual orientation in the state of New York. Uh, by going online and getting this information they will be able to avoid that and still getting to the answers that they aren't allowed. But at this point in time, like we say, there are employers in certain states, whether they be New York or elsewhere, that are able to do this, and they are protected by the law. I wouldn't say they're necessarily protected by the law, but there's nothing out there preventing them from doing that. There is no law out there saying that this is impermissible, so they are getting away with it. Okay. Now, how does um, like a, a current employer fall into this mix? Are they allowed to do that and ask for passwords and information? A current employer versus a prospective employer. A current employer is in the same position, but you have a little more uh, question of whether or not duress or coercion, and there might be additional protections that a current employer might give a current employee that make it harder there. Mm -hmm. If you had to look into a crystal ball, and uh, you know they're going to the Justice Department, all these agencies to try and close the uh, the loopholes there, what could be done to potentially do that? I think there's certainly a number of things that can be done. Certainly being active with the law is going to be the strongest way of doing that. Uh, individuals can also be proactive themselves, making sure that certain information is not posted on those things if this is not actually going to go through. Uh, it's going to be very hard, and the hardest part is, is technology is speeding up so fast, it's mm -hmm. going to be very hard to predict what that next step's going to be. I was reading online where some people are, are trying to get around this by, I guess, having two profiles now, where one would be a private one under a pseudonym, uh, pseudonym perhaps, and then having one public one that the prospective employers can tap into if need be. Is that going to be the trend of the future, that people need to do that? It might be, and I've seen a fair amount of people either use their middle name or a maiden name or something like that to hide their identity there and get away with it. Okay, well, Michael Maycomer, certainly going to be an issue that's heating up, I'm sure, nationwide. So uh, thank you very much for the insights, and hopefully we'll speak with you soon. Thank you.